Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Secure Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Boeing RC-135. The Boeing RC-135 is the family of large reconnaissance aircraft built by Boeing and modified by a number of companies including General Dynamics, Lockheed, LTV, E-Systems, and L3 Technologies and is also used by the United States Air Force and Royal Air Force to support theater and national level intelligence consumers with near real-time on-scene collection, analysis, and dissemination capabilities. Based off the C-135 straddle lifter airframe, various types of the RC-135s have been in service since 1961. Unlike the C-135, the KC-135, uh, which are recognized by Boeing as the Model 717. Most of the current RC-135 fleet is internally designated as the Model 739 by the company. Many variants have been modified numerous times, resulting in a large variety of designations, configurations, and program names. So yeah, the uh, RC-135 here are really awesome looking aircraft. Um, I actually got to see one of these finally in person, which is pretty cool because this is, I guess you can consider a pretty rare aircraft, with only 32 ever being made. This is uh, including ones that have been retired, ones that are in service with the Royal Air Force, and also the United States Air Force. Currently, there's only one base, as far as I know, that operates these, besides um, little attachment or detachments of the squadron based in overseas locations. Uh, but yeah, the RC-135, a very cool aircraft, and to see this thing in person is also really cool because it's such a beautiful aircraft, to say the very least. Um, before we go ahead and take a look at this aircraft, I do want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter um, Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description, where you can go and play the small multi channel every month, and in doing so, earn a few cool requests you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated. So again, definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link is in the video descriptions. With that though, let's go and dive in here to take a look at the RC-135 and its landed and in-flight configuration. So this aircraft here is pretty cool. It uses our um, fuselage from the KC-135 to basically make it, uh, which are both basically based off the same airframe, so it works out really well. Uh, one of the main differences you're going to tell with this aircraft right away is the nose. So the nose here is a bit longer extended. I imagine it probably houses some sort of radar system or something in the nose there that warrants having a larger nose like that. It's also got these kind of bulges that stick out the sides here of the fuselage as well, which is kind of, again, a unique uh, feature of this aircraft. Um, so again, we have the bulges there on both sides. We then have uh, the loading door. So this is located on the left side of the aircraft only, very similar to that of the KC-135. We then have the escape doors, um, the US Air Force right on the side of the fuselage, the little um, National Star Insignia there on the back. And this aircraft here, you can see, has a lot of different devices, communications, sensors, all that stuff kind of popping off of it. And it's really difficult because, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of um, different variants of this aircraft. It almost seems like most of the RC-135s are different from each other. So uh, trying to kind of basically fix, figure out which one to do exactly is a little bit difficult. But you're definitely going to find a lot of variety in the family of RC-135s because really most of them are all different from each other in some sort of way. And, uh, yeah, so this is just based off an RC-135. I don't know exactly which one this is, but it's uh, it's something. Um, so, got little domes here, little bulges coming off the fuselage. Um, obviously, the landed version here, you have the wheels extended. All these um, different sensors on the bottom of the aircraft as well, which are pretty cool. And we have the cabling that runs all the way back to the tail. Obviously, your vertical stabilizer and your horizontal stabilizers here on the, on the rear. But overall, really cool looking aircraft and will make an awesome addition to any of your um, worlds as a nice kind of a surveillance type aircraft. And it's just a very unique and really colorly or colored, really cool aircraft um, that I think just will make an awesome addition to your worlds. Anyways, though, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer here, we can go ahead and start with layer 1. Now a few things I want to mention is first, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to shark sheet tutorials, I like to have on camera half off. What this means is we're building the entire sideline of the aircraft, and then the right side, they'll be up to you guys to take what we do on the right side and copy it over to the left side. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and this aircraft is 
symmetrical for the most part we do have a few differences here and there and obviously we'll talk about those a little bit greater in detail once we get to those but uh, for the most part yeah this aircraft is going to be symmetrical so whatever we do on one side will be done to the other um, in addition if you do want to build the landed version of the aircraft we will be going ahead and adding the landing gear on as a modification at the end of the video to make sure that you have this correctly built layer three here is going to sit a total of three blocks up from the ground level so you can see here we have two blocks of space between our ground level and this block right here basically very important to make sure that that's correct because that right there will determine the height that the aircraft is going to sit and you want it to be exactly this so that when you will go back and add layers one and two and the landing gear later on you're not going to run into the ground so that right there is pretty important right there anyways though um with that let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial so going ahead and getting started with we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing down a long row of stone full blocks this right here is going to go down the center of your aircraft all the way like so to go ahead and equal a row of 42. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then go back up to the front section here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a piston. And we're going to place down an upside down piston here if you're on Java. If you're on a different version other than Java, instead of placing this piston right here, I'd probably recommend placing down a stone upside down stair. We're going to leave the piston alone for right now. We're going to go ahead and place down two stone top slabs going forward from this. Then an iron trap door right down the end of the top slab. Going to the rear of our line of stone, we're going to go ahead and place down two pistons like that upside down. And then... We want to go ahead and place down two stone top slabs and an iron trap door. So again, we have that row of stone that's going to connect the two together. Total of 42 and your piston top slabs there. And on the back here, two pistons, two top slabs, iron trap door. So that right there is going to make the center line of the aircraft. At this point, we're going to go now move out to the right side. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off the side of the stone top slab. We then want to place down two stone top slabs back from the iron trap door. And then taking our stone stairs... We're going to place down a long row of stone stairs, which is going to be, in total, a length of 9. So we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After those 9 blocks, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 stone blocks back actually it's gonna be a little bit less than that so instead of 33 it's actually gonna be 25 so we're gonna go ahead and just remove eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight and i would go ahead and just double check your count here again this should be a total of 25 stone full blocks we're gonna go ahead and then place down one two three four five six seven eight stone ups and downstairs then uh one two three stone top slabs and then an iron trap door there on the end come off that top slab after that's finished, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a stone top slab. That'll be coming off the side of this second stair here. And then going back from that stone top slab, we're going to place down a stone full block. So we want to place down one stone full block, and it's going to go back two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Stone full blocks back. And we're going to then place down two stone top slabs, one, two, directly after that. Our next row here is going to come off the side of our stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go to our second stone block here. We're going to place down a stone top slab to the side here. Um, after that stone top slab, we want to go and then place down a row of stone stairs. This here is going to be a total of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to place down our stone top slabs continuing back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Stone top slabs back and then two, three iron trap doors back like that. Then going to the side here, we're going to go to our 1, 2, and our third stone top slab after those stairs there. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off that third uh, top slab. Then going back from it, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Stone top slabs, and then one, two, three iron trap doors. Next row here is going to be uh, one and two iron trap doors, like this. Then one, two, three, four, five stone top slabs, then one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors. Next row here is going to be an iron trap door coming off this one. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron trap doors back, and then we're going to then go off the second iron trap door here. One, two, three, and four, like that to go ahead and make your main fuselage. After you have that all done, uh, we want to go and then go off this iron trap door here. We're going to count out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, and six blocks. So, same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, at this point, we're going to go and get into our engines. For our engines here, we're going to need a few materials. This is going to be an iron andesite wall, a iron bar, some stone blocks, black concrete, wither skeleton skulls, 
uh, some birchwood trapdoors, some polished uh, blackstone walls, and that should be all we need for right now. Now, for these engines here, pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down an anti wall coming off that row, of, that row building off the side there. And we're going to go then place down one more anti wall forward. We then want to go one, two, three, and four back. Going ahead and going off of this inside wall here, we're going to place down an iron bar, black concrete, and then another iron bar. With our skeleton skull coming off this block full going forward, and an inside wall on the side of this uh, iron bar, and then one forward, and then again, one, two, three, four, back like so. This middle space here, we're going to place, we're placing our row three of black concrete, then a row two of stone full block, or sorry, row three of stone blocks, then a second row of three, and then a third row like that going back. We then want to place down three black concrete blocks and then a black concrete block here in the center. We're going to go then place down a birchwood trap door on the side of this black concrete block and then come off the side here this birchwood trap door like so. And also on the inside here we can place down a birchwood trap door like that as well to kind of get a little bit more thickness there to that um, material. And same thing will be done over here as well. So just like this. After that we're going to then place down a polished black stone wall going back like so. Then a birchwood trap door on both sides of that like that, and then we're going to place down a narrow polished black stone wall going back, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off that. Going ahead and grabbing some dark oakwood signs, we're going to place down dark oakwood signs on both sides here of these polished black stone walls, like so. And uh, after that also, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some light gray stainless panes. I'm going to make a little bit of a modification here. I'm going to place down three light gray stainless panes here um, on these last three walls instead of having those walls. So just kind of smooth out the engines a little bit more. So right there is going to be basically that for that engine there. Now after we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and build out to the side here again and we're going to be going ahead and working on our um, very outer engines. This right here is going to start off by going off this polished black snow wall. We're going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks out to the side here. So same thing, go over to, the, to our side over here. It's going to be basically off this sign here. So we have uh, one block, so you have the sign. Basically, that's a space right there. So we have one, then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And uh, so, yeah, we should have ten full blocks here, like that. And then, if we count that space where the sign is, that'll be eleven spaces in total. And we're gonna go and then grab ourselves some stone stairs. Now, to get started with this, we're gonna place down a stone stair, like so. We're gonna go and then skip a space from that stone stair, and we wanna place down a another one over here like this facing it. So you have those two stairs facing each other like so. We're going to go then go back with a narrow stone stair to both sides. And in the space in the middle there, we're going to place down an iron bar. Just like so. We're going to leave it at that for right now. We then want to place down a row of three of black concrete across. Then we're going to place down a row of three of stone across. And then after that, uh, we're going to place down um, an additional row of three. So just like this. Now we want to go then grab ourselves some of our light gray stained glass and our inside walls here. We're going to place down a uh, two inside walls, so one on this block here, and then one on top, one on, one on that um, stone block. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane going this way, and then uh, one going forward like so for the engine there. And then after we have that done there, actually we're going to place down one more glass pane going forward there, and we're going to go ahead and just place down the inside wall here as well. So it looks something kind of like that. And also, in addition, we're going to go ahead and replace this wall here with a glass pane. So it will look like that there on the side there for the engine. And we're just going to go and do the same thing over here on this side. So just like that. On both sides there for the engine. After that, we're going to go then place down a total of one, two, and three stone blocks down the center. Or actually, my bed's only going to be two stone blocks down the center. And then two stone ups down stairs to the side here. This first stair here is going to be a corner stair. And then you have a normal stair directly after that. After you have that done, we want to go and then place down an iron trap door. After this block like this, going back, and we want to go and then place down a stone upside down stair coming off both sides of this black concrete block. And then one more coming off the iron trap door there. And we also want to go and place down one iron trap door coming off this space like this, going back like that for the engine. One thing also to mention here is that these birchwood trap doors can be replaced with iron trap doors. Especially if you're on Java and have a debug stick. To go ahead and get the debug stick here, I'll go ahead and mention this real quick. You'll type in the command slash give app p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. This right here is your command. By pressing enter, it'll give you this glowing stick. You can go up to these iron trap doors and um, you can actually go ahead and 
left click them until you get um, selected open and it should say false by right clicking it it'll open them to true and it'll lay them flat against the side there and we can just do this here for our iron trap door so it's a nice technique there kind of blends in with the aircraft a little bit better than the birch would um, but again you know something that you can mess around with and decide whether or not you want to actually use this technique or not um, again it's going to only be for java because java we do have the debug stake while other versions do not anyways though that right there is going to conclude everything we have here for this layer you can go ahead and remove any of these lines that you built out to the sides as you will no longer be needing those and uh, we'll have an overview here of what we complete in this layer here very, very soon but yeah anyways that is it for this uh, layer layer number three probably one of our more time consuming layers just because we have a lot going on here but yeah, as you can see this is basically what you should have for the top down view once you change from the right side over to the left side and this will be a nice basis for us to build off of. Anyways, with that, let's drop down to layers. Alright guys, so moving into our uh, basically bottom layers here. We have layers 1 and 2. So to kind of begin with here, we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom of the fuselage. We're going to start off with going to this first stone block. We're going to place down a lever coming off of it facing forward like so. We're going to go then count back 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, actually, let me go and double check here. Um, I believe it's 4. So 4 blocks, the space. And then on our 5th block, we're going to place down a polished blackstone wall and a glass pane here. Now we are going to be using a technique which involves the debug sticks. So for your Java players, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically select the side that faces toward the back here of this wall. For me, it's going to be the north. And you want to go ahead and basically right click this two times until you get north to tall. So it should kind of fill in this wall completely. And the same thing will be done for this glass pane. We'll go ahead and left click here until we get selected north. And we'll basically extend in that direction like so. Now, this right here works awesome for Java players. Um, your directions obviously may change, so you may have to experiment around for this with this a little bit, figure out what direction works for you guys, but basically, using your debug stick, you can extend it in that direction. An alternative to this is uh, kind of lame. Uh, it's either going to be a polished black stone, or sorry, a black concrete block with a polished black stone wall, or you can place down that uh, black concrete block with a polished black stone stair on the bottom like so. Obviously, this right here is your best, best method. Um, unfortunately, there is not a good one without the debug stick just to make these instruments perfect. Uh, but obviously, that's something you can experiment around with and figure out what you like best. Anyways, after that wall, we're going to then place down two levers going back, then a polished blackstone button. We're going to skip a space, and another polished blackstone button, then skip another space, or sorry, another two spaces, and then we want to place down three iron trap doors on the bottom of the aircraft, a polished blackstone wall, which is going to be done using the same techniques here that we did uh, before, or whichever ver whatever you did up there for the front, um, go ahead and do back here. So just like that. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, iron trapdoors back. And then at this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down our polished blackstone wall, have it connected downwards, a second polished blackstone wall, and then we're going to extend the back here. So just like we did for the uh, other ones, we're going to go ahead and extend that um, up like that so it's tall. And then we have our glass panes on the bottom there, like so. And the one on the bottom here is extended toward the rear. We're going to go then skip one, two, three spaces, place down in just a polished blackstone wall, and this wall is going to be extended toward the back. We're going to go and skip a space, place down another wall, this wall is going to be extended toward the back as well. And then we're going to skip one, two spaces on our third block here. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post. That comes down, a wither skeleton skull, which can be placed like so, coming off the side of this block. And then after that, we want to go and place down a end rod, coming off the back there of that, like so. And after you have that done, that right there is going to make that on the bottom there for your center line. Moving back up to the front, working our way out to the sides here, we're going to go and place down a end rod. That will be coming off of this stone up down stair right here. And we're going to go and place down another end rod, which will be coming off the second to last stair right here. We're also going to place down a polished blackstone button, coming off this stone block to both sides, so right before the iron trap door. Then we're going to place down an iron trap door, coming off the second one here, followed by a second, third, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen iron trap doors back. We're going to go then go uh, back from this uh, section here. We're going to go and count one in our second block here. We're going to go then go out to the side of this stair. We're going to place down a polished blackstone wall, our black stained glass pane here. And using our same techniques, we're going to go ahead and just um, extend it like so. After that, we're going to then place down another brick wall that goes back. And you will need to readjust your stair or your wall here as it will um, break that um, design there. And then also, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post next to this wall right here as well to the sides. 
And after we have that all done, that's pretty much it for the underbelly section, I think, of the aircraft, all those instruments. I think that we pretty much got those covered, so that's pretty much it for that. And we'll go ahead and now move into the engines here. So for the engines, uh, we want to go ahead and go to the bottom of this, these engines here. We're going to place down our stone stairs, kind of in this intersection like so. And we're going to go ahead and then place down the stair over here as well, like this. Then uh, after we have that done, we're going to go and place down a second stair back from these. And we want to go and then take our black concrete and place down a row of three across. We're going to go and then place down an iron bar here in the center. Now something I do want to mention is that with this iron bar, we can use a debug stick here for us travel players to actually extend the directions of this uh, iron bar so it does connect up to our stairs, or at least it appears to. And this will be done for both the inner and outer engines on this lower section of the engine to kind of get that connection a little bit more firm. You could replace these stone stairs with stone full blocks if you really want, though uh, it does kind of break the shape there of the engine a little bit, so kind of uh, again up to you guys on what you guys want to do to proceed for that. Anyways, after that though, we're going to go ahead and place down three stone full blocks across the back there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a second row of three going back from that. So like so. We then want to go ahead and grab our um, andesite walls and our glass panes. We're going to place down a glass pane here. Then one, two andesite walls and then two glass panes back from that. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a row of one and two stone full blocks down the center. A stone upside down stair like this to both sides and then a stair coming off that stair like so. So that turns into a corner stair, then you have a normal stair. We then want to place down a black concrete block here in the center. A stone upside down stair to both sides. And then after you have that done, uh, we want to go and then place down a uh, iron trap door um, on the end here. Actually, real quick, we're going to go and bring that black concrete block back one more, place down an iron trap door like that in between those stairs. So it should look like this here. I'm going to go ahead and probably... Yeah, make that modification so the outer engines here we actually have to extend bring this black concrete block in one more as well as this iron trap door we're just going to delete this end portion here so it should look like look like this be one shorter so you have the corner stair and then two stairs like that so my apologies on that one um i accidentally extended by one too many uh but then back here we're just going to place down the iron trap door on the bottom of that wall like so there and that right there will be that and just we have the glass pane here the two inside walls and our two glass panes after that for the shaping there of the engine and um, actually, we'll just change this all to glass panes on the bottom here. So we'll just make this uh, other adjustment here, just to change these all to glass panes. So it actually will flow a little bit better. So yeah, those will be glass panes there, all, all the way on the bottom there, like that. And anyways, that right there is going to include what we have for um, those uh, inner engines. And then for the outer ones, uh, really simple. We're just going to go ahead and grab some uh, iron trap doors and stone slabs. We're going to place down a stone slab underneath this uh, iron bar. Then one forward. Coming off this slab here, we're going to place down one more out to both sides, like so. And then also an iron trap door in these corners, like so. Then we're going to place down a row of three of stone top slabs across. Then a second row like that. We're going to go then place down one stone top slab down the center. Again, iron trap door to both sides. And then one, two, three iron trap doors down the center like that for the bottom of the engine. With that all done right there, that's going to basically complete, complete the bottom of that engine. And also for this uh, engine out here, we're going to do the same thing. So stone top slab on the bottom, iron trap door to both sides, and then we have a row of three of stone top slabs. It's going to be a little tight just due to the space and how low these engines actually sit on the aircraft. So we have basically three rows of three here, one top slab in the center, iron trap doors to both sides, and then one, two, three iron trap doors back for that for the bottom of that engine. And yes, uh, they do sit really close to the ground, and that's actually really how close they do sit. So. That right there is going to be done for those engines on all sides, or for all four engines, and basically looking at it from above here. You don't really see much difference really happen, um, but uh, that's going to pretty much conclude this layer here. And you can see all the detailing we have on the bottom there, and everything like that. Uh, one thing I would also like to mention is we do actually have a wall right here as well. Um, so this wall is actually going to be where this iron trap door is. So we're going to count back. Uh, we have basically our ninth wall. Uh, Trap door from the front. We're going to place down a polished blackstone wall in this spot, and then we're going to go down from it with a black stained glass pane. And we'll extend this in the direction. So, going back, and this wall here will basically have the same done for it, like that. So, that right there will basically do it for all those bomb details. Uh, again, a lot of details on this aircraft, so a little bit of time consuming, but that right there is going to include layers one and two. 
With that, let's move on up to layer number four. All right, guys, moving on up to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and going to this iron trap door here in the front. We're going to place down a stone full block, then a second stone block going forward from that. On the bottom of that stone block, we're going to place down a lever. Make sure it's facing toward the front there like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block. We're going to place down two pistons upside down like so if you're on a different version other than Java. We can place down a black concrete block and a polished black stone top slab instead for the shaping there. After that, though, we're going to place down a narrow polished black stone top slab here, and then a dark oak wood trap door coming off like that to go ahead and make the nose there of the aircraft. Going to the rear um, side of the line, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door here. One and two stone blocks back, followed by two uh, pistons right here like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair. This right here is going to be a dispenser. By placing the dispenser, you're going to place down a block above it, and then you'll place down the dispenser coming off the bottom of the block, and you'll get that look like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block. Then a, another piston right here. Uh, again, a good alternative here is to place down instead of those pistons. Um, you can place down two stone top slabs instead. Uh, those will be a good alternative um, to this instead. And then uh, after that, we're going to then place down a uh, stone. Or we have the piston here. This can be replaced with a stone upside down stair instead. Or a stone full block. Then after that, we're going to place down two stone top slabs. And then an iron trap door like that. Going ahead and finish off our rear. After that, moving out to the sides here of the aircraft, we're going to place down a polished black stone top slab off the side of the piston here. We're going to go back with a second piston, or sorry, another, a second polished black stone slab. And we then want to place down a piston upside down above this like so. This can be replaced with a polished black stone upside down stair um, instead. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back. Going out to the sides here, we're going to place down two yellow or two light gray stainless panes. Now, this right here is where we do have a difference. On the left side of the aircraft, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down two sandstone walls. On the right side here, it's going to be two andesite walls. So there is going to be that difference there. And then after that, on the right side here, it's going to be a stone block. Then on the left side, a yellow concrete block. We're going to go then place down a stone upside down stair, which will be on the, or coming off this block like this out to the side here like so. And that will be on the right side and right side only. And then over here on the end, the left side, we're going to have a birchwood up sound stair. So just take those that difference into account. That will be located there up here in the front. After that, though, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stone blocks back. Then a stone stair. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And um, yeah, 15 stone blocks back. So let me go and double check the count here. And it is going to be 15. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair on top of this iron trap door here. And then a stair coming off of it. So it turns into a corner stair and then you have a normal stair. We then want to place down an inside wall. I like race thing was ping going back. On the inside here we're going to place down one, two, and three stone blocks. And then come off that third stone block there we're going to place down in their skeleton skull like so. If uh, you have the debug stick handy on you, you can also go ahead and extend this glass pane. To uh, basically kind of... To extend in the direction toward this stair or that skeleton skull there to kind of help with the shaping there a little bit better. After that, though, we're going to take, going to take our stone blocks. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, stone blocks back. Actually, my bad. It's going to be instead of stone blocks, it's actually going to be upside down stairs. So let me go ahead and correct that real quick. So right after this, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone upside down stairs, and it's going to be eleven in total. So 11, let me just double check our count here, and it is 11. After that, we're going to then place down two stone flow blocks, so one in the, on top of the iron trap door, and one like this, like so. After the uh, stone upstairs, we're going to place down two stone top sides back, or sorry, three, one, two, three, and then two iron trap doors. Then on the inside here, we're going to place down one more stone block. Then we're going to place down two upside down pistons. Again, these can be replaced with stone top slabs instead. So there was two, two stone pistons, or, or yeah, two pistons like that going back. Um, after that, those, or after those pistons there, we're going to go ahead and place our stone top slabs. So one, two, uh, one and two stone top slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and place down two stone upside down stairs. So one, two. And after that, one, two stone top slabs. And then an iron trap door like that. And that right there is going to basically make the um, back there like so. After that's all done, going back up to the front here though, we're going to go ahead and grab our glass panes. We're going to go to this second stone block here on the side. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 um, of these uh, glass panes going back of light gray. We then want to place down a stone slab here, followed by a stone stair. 
And then after that, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 uh, stone blocks back. Um, actually, one more, so it's going to be 12 stone blocks back. Then a stone stair, and then a stone slab after that stone stair, like so. After that uh, row is complete, we're going to go and then grab a polished black stone sl uh, slab. We're going to place down polished black stone slab, come off the side there of the stair. Going back from that slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, um, and 12 stone blocks back. Actually, my bad, sorry, it's only going to be 11, and then two stone slabs like that afterward. Uh, after that's complete, we're going to go then place down a nether stone slab, coming off this stone full block. We're going to go and go back from that with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Um, or just 9 blocks, and then we're going to place down a polished andesite full block, and then two polished andesite slabs going back from that. Our uh, next row here is going to be a nether stone slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stone full blocks back. A polished andesite full block, and then two andesite slabs back from that. Our next row is going to be a stone stair, coming off this block here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, stone blocks back. Then we're going to place down a polished andesite block, and then a polished andesite slab after that. Our uh, next row is going to be a stone slab. Come off the side of the stair, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stone blocks back. We're gonna go and then place down uh, two polished andesite blocks, or sorry, just one polished andesite block, and then two polished andesite slabs going back from them. Then our uh, next row is where it starts to get a little bit, uh, you know, strange, <laughs> to say the very least. Uh, we're gonna place down a stone top slab here, come off this block, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, stone blocks back. We then want to place down two polished andesite full blocks, so one, two, and then a polished andesite slab there on the very end. Our uh, next row is going to be a total of three stone top slabs, and then we have five stone full blocks. So we're going to place down one, two, three stone top slabs, then one, two, three, four, five stone full blocks, and then after we have that done, we're going to place down a stone uh, top slab, and then one, two, three polished andesite top slabs back from that. Um, and this right here is going to actually be flush with this. So we're going to replace one more stone top slab here. And then we're going to go ahead and replace this top slab with a full block. And then this full, last full block here will be replaced with a top slab. So it should look like this here on the bottom. After that's though, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a nether stone slab. We're going to place it down on the side of this block here. And then going back from this, we're going to place down a row of three of stone slabs. And then we have two and then it carries on after that. So we're going to place down three stone slabs, then two stone full blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five stone top slabs, and then we're going to place down two polished andesite top slabs after that. Then uh, continuing on, we're going to go and place down a stone top slab here. So just like that, and then we're going to go back from it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone top slabs back. We're going to go and then place down a polished andesite top slab. And then uh, after that's done, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some iron trap doors. We're going to place down uh, what is going to be one, two, three iron trap doors like so. And then we're going to go and then take our stone top slabs, go back one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to place down two polished andesite top slabs back. So like so. Then our next row, iron trap door here. One, two, three, four. Uh, back, so you have a total of five. Like so, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four stone top slabs like that to go and finish it off. Now at this point, we get into our um, engine here. So it's our inner engine. We're going to go ahead and basically start off by placing down an upside down stone stair on top of that, on top of those iron bars, like that to both sides, and then one more stone stair going forward like so. Um, so like that there. We're going to go ahead and place down our black concrete across the space here. We're going to go then place down our iron bar in the center. We can go and again use the same technique we used before to go ahead and extend the iron bar to toward the stairs there. And then we want to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone full blocks, followed by a second row of three directly after that. And we're going to go then place down one and one stone block in the center there. A stair like this to both sides, followed by another stone block in the center, another stone stair to both sides like that. So you have the corner stair and then the regular stairs. And then we have four more stair going back 
on both sides here and then an iron trap door there directly in the center and just double checking here i want to make sure i'm not missing anything and actually we are going to actually do something slightly different here for this engine or for this upper left section here so instead of this iron trap door we're going to place down a stone full block and we then want to go ahead and go back from said stone full block with a total of uh one two three four blocks so we're going to go ahead and go back one two three four stone full blocks and then a stone top slab like so after that we're going to place down one, two, three iron trap doors, and then come off the last three iron trap doors. We're going to place down two, like that, out to the side there for the wing. And there, right there will basically uh, connect our engines here. And we just have a little bit of uh, detailing here on the sides, which is just going to be one, two, three, four, and five, like racing stainless panes. And over here, one, two, three, four, and five, like so. After that's all done there, uh, that's basically it for that inner engine. And then we move to the outer ones. The other ones are going to basically be the center line that we did over here for this one. So we're going to place down a black concrete block here, one going forward, and then we have that wither skeleton skull that's going to go on the front here like so. We then want to place down a black concrete block on both sides of this one, our iron bar to both sides of those black concrete blocks, and then we're going to go ahead and place down our inside walls. This right here again is going to be that row of one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then in the center here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone, followed by a second row of three, and then a third row. We're going to go and then place down one, two, three, like gray stainless panes on the sides of those three rows of three. We're going to go and then place down a black concrete block here in the center, then one more back, and then we're going to go and grab some polished black stone walls. We're going to place down one and two walls going back like so down the center. To the sides here, we're going to go and grab, go ahead and grab iron trap doors. We're going to place down a black concrete block here on both sides here, and then our iron trap doors again for us Java players, and we'll go ahead and close those using the debug tool. Again, you can go ahead and use the alternative, which is birchwood trapdoors instead. We're going to place our iron trapdoors here as well, close those out, or open those to the outsides, and also iron trapdoors come off those ones, again, opened to sit flat against the surface like so. We're also going to place down iron trapdoors here on the side of this wall, and again, right-click them to go ahead and position them like so. And we'll also go ahead and grab a dark oak wood sign, and place on both sides of this wall here, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off the wall, going back like that. And once you have that complete there, that's going to basically wrap up what we have there for the outer engines. And with that, everything we have for layer number four. As you can see, we're starting to get into the wings here. So these next layers are going to be kind of time consuming as we work away from the wings. As the wing structure usually is the longest and most time consuming portion of any of these large aircraft tutorials. Um, so just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if you need to take frequent breaks and uh, take some time to relax as these layers can be pretty difficult. And uh, just overall, a lot of stuff going on. So just take some time, uh, you know, take it easy for these next layers. Again, just to remember, we do have that uh, difference on the left side there, which is that yellow that's thrown in there. So just make sure that you transfer that over properly. But for the rest of this layer, everything else should be the same and transfer over like so. Anyways, though, that is going to conclude what we have there for layer number um, four. And with that, let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five for layer five to get started with here we're gonna place down black concrete block on top of this dark oak with trap door followed by an upside down polished black stone stair coming off it going toward the front we then want to go and go to the sides of this uh or actually rather than going to the sides we're gonna go to the back and do our center line as well we're gonna place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door one more stone block back and then a stone top side like that to go ahead and uh create that back section there going back up to the front though we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this upside down stair then a second stair back from that or sorry one stair back from that and then one two three black concrete blocks we're gonna go then place down one two three and four stone blocks after that we're gonna go and then place down a black stainless paint come off the side of this block then one two glass panes back from that and then one and two and side walls we're gonna go then place down a stone block here over here on the left side it'll be a yellow concrete block then on both sides we're gonna place down one and two stone blocks back come off the side of those blocks we're gonna place down a light gray stainless paint come out the middle one and then the an inside wall come out the last one on the right side here will be a stone block. On the left side will be a yellow concrete block. So this is what it should look like on the left side. So again, just take note of that difference there. And then we're just going to place down a light gray stainless paint. Come off this block here. Same thing on the other side. Going back from this block, we're going to place down a narrow stone block. And inside wall to the side there. Coming off the inside wall, we're going to place down on the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stone blocks. Over here on the left side, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to place down one, two, three stone blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick blocks, and then the stone block. That right there will be basically the border, which will help outline our main cargo door that opens up on the side of the aircraft. So just keep that in mind, what that is on the side there. 
Anyways, though, after that, uh, we want to go and then place down a uh, inside wall here, and then a like gray stainless paint going back from both sides. On the inside here, we're gonna place down two stone blocks. Going back from those stone blocks, we're gonna place down an inside wall and a light gray stainless paint. And we're just gonna fill in the inside here with two stone blocks, and then we're gonna go and keep going with another stone block back. On both sides here, we're gonna place down one, two, three yellow concrete blocks, and then we want to go ahead and then place down um, a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 stone blocks back down the side there of your fuselage. So one thing I'd also like to mention on the right side here of the aircraft is we do have a secondary door. Now this is going to be located on the right side and the right side only. It's this door here on the back, that emergency exit. And as I mentioned, again, it's going to be on the right side and right side only, not on the left side of the aircraft. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal, but if you want to maintain that accuracy, that's going to be on the right side only. This right here is going to be basically 21 blocks back from that first row. So we have 21 stone blocks. And then our second or 22nd block, we're going to go and replace with a yellow concrete block. And then we're going to place the next two after it. So you have that row three there, like that, a yellow concrete. And that'll be on the right side, right side only. Also, in addition, this uh, last stone block here on the end, we're actually going to swap out for a stone upside down stair. Now, coming off that stone upside down stair, we're going to go and then place down one, two, three, four glass like gray stained glass panes, and on the inside here we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone full blocks. And then lastly, a stone top side coming off the end here. If you're on Java, we can also go ahead and take our debug stick, and just to kind of do some little fine uh, detailing here, we can go ahead and extend the um, side of the glass pane to actually connect up to that stair there, and helps create a really nice um, look for the aircraft. Um, now with that all complete, also one thing I want to mention is you can go ahead and now go to the bottom of these pistons uh, for us on Java, and by right clicking them here if your debug stick, you'll actually go ahead and get rid of that wooden portion. And what that does is it just kind of helps with the shaping there of the aircraft, just kind of makes it a little bit more smoother. And um, yeah, just a nice little uh, technique there to use to really create some nice smoother surfaces there for the aircraft. Um, so you'll just go around to um, all your pistons around the bottom of the aircraft and then for, these, for the past few layers. And just go ahead and uh, right click those and make them like so. Anyways though, with that out of the way, uh, we're going to now start continuing work onto our wings. We're going to go and start off by placing down a iron trap door here. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a daylight detector, which will turn to the night mode. Uh, we're going to then place down two stone slabs. Then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five stone full blocks. After that, two stone slabs. Daylight detector turned to night mode. And then we're going to place down two iron trap doors back from that. Next row here is going to be an iron trap door coming off the side of this one. Then we're going to place down two more backs, so you have a row three there. Another daylight detector turned to night mode, followed by a second one. Then we're going to place down one, one, two, three stone slabs. Two daylight detectors again turned to night mode, and then an iron trap door there on the end. Next row here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, iron trap doors back. Then we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, six. Our next row is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six again. And then this right here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven back. Then our next row here is going to be one, two, three. And then we're going to take our stone slabs. We're going to do one, two, three stone slabs and then an iron trap door. Our uh, next row is going to be two stone slabs. Then, or sorry, two iron trap doors. Then one, two, three, four, um, and five stone slabs back. And actually, it's going to be six. So one more back like that. We then want to place down an iron trap door here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone slabs back after that. Then uh, we're going to place down one last iron trap door on the end there, and this row, row right here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron trap doors back like so, or stone slabs back. Now at this point here, uh, we're going to go then place down an iron trap door that will go on top of this block here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone slabs back. And then a polished anisite slab right here. And we'll also replace this stone full block underneath here, underneath that, or sorry, the polished anisite, or the stone slab underneath that stone slab with a polished anisite top slab instead, just to have that kind of continuity or continuous color for the wing. Um, anyways, though, after we get to this point, uh, we then want to place down a row of five of stone slabs so going off the side here uh, we're gonna go ahead and go one two three four five and we're gonna go then take our stone uh, stairs and we're gonna place down two stone stairs so one two and then after that uh, we're gonna place down a total of three stone slabs going back from the stairs or rather sorry two so one two 
like that going back there for this row here. Our next row is going to start off by going ahead and going to the second stone slab here. We're going to go back one, two, three, and then we're going to go ahead and go back with one, two, three, four stone full blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a um, stone slab here and then a second stone slab back like that. Um, after that's done, our uh, next row is going to kind of be the center line here of the engine. So we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a stone slab on top of this iron trap door here and then one more forward. We're going to place down iron trap doors there in the two corners, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three stone slabs along the side here, then one, two, three along the side. In the center space here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some pistons, and we're going to place down uh, one and two pistons, like so, which we'll um, modify a little bit later, and then we're going to place down a third one back, like so. On both sides of the third one, we're going to place down an iron trap door, and that right there will basically sum up that area. We're going to go ahead and take our stone full blocks. We're going to place down a row. That's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Stone full blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair like so, and then a stone slab after that full block like that. Once we have um, that all done there, our next row is going to be... So this is actually going to extend one more slab. So it's going to be one more slab like that. And then after that, uh, our next row, uh, we can actually go ahead and take our pistons here, right-click them with our debug stick, and go ahead and reset them like so. Now our next row here is going to be a stone stair, which will be coming off this one, two, three, our fourth stone block back. So we're going to count to the side, or back, one, two, three, our fourth one. Stone stair to the side here, and we're going to then go back from that stone stair with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone full blocks. And then uh, one more, so go back like so, and then we're going to place down a stone slab like that on the end there. Our next row is going to be a stone uh, slab coming off the side of the stair, so stone slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone full blocks, and then a polished anisite block, and then a polished anisite slab. Our uh, next row after that stone slab is going to be a uh, another stone slab, so out to the side here by one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks back. Actually, sorry, it's going to be seven polished anisite full block, polished anisite slab. And then right here is where we start to, should start to get into a little bit more of the um, this section here, which should be a little bit more complicated, and it's actually going to be one more row out to the side here. So it's going to be, uh, this time, a stone slab again. So stone slab here to the side, and then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks, and then we're going to place on two polished anisite top slabs. Now, like, this right here is where... Um, our row kind of goes back up into slab territory, so it gets a little bit funky here. Um, this, to kind of begin with, is going to be a top slab, and then we're going to have three stone blocks, and then um, after that's going to be all slabs. So we're going to have a stone top slab coming off here, and then three stone blocks back, two stone top slabs, and then two polished anisite top slabs going back like so. Next row here is going to be a polished or stone top slab coming off this one here. Then we're going to go back one, two, three, four and uh, five, and then two polished anisite top slabs after that. We're going to then place down an iron trap door to the side of that one, and it's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five stone top slabs back, and then two polished anisite top slabs. Then another iron trap door here. Then two stone, or one, two, three, four, and five stone top slabs back, and then two polished anisite top slabs. Then it's going to be two iron trap doors, then one, two stone top slabs, and then one, two, three, four iron trap doors back from that. We're also going to place down an iron trap door coming off this one, then one, two, three, four after that. And then we're going to place down one and two, come off the second and third one from the front there, like that for the wing. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and then uh, do the top here for this engine. So this is going to be kind of, again, replicating the same thing we did for the very for almost the very bottom there. It's going to be the two stone stairs here. Oh, actually, they uh, should be upside down like that. Same thing over here. So just like that. And then we want to go and then place down our iron bar here in the center on top of that black concrete block. Our row of three black concrete behind that. We can go and extend the iron bar in both directions like that to go ahead and complete the look there. Then going back, we're going to place down our row of three of stone full blocks. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go and then place down our uh, second row of three like that. And then we want to go and then place down our stone block in the center. Stone stair like this to both sides. Black concrete block in the center. Stone uh, stair like this to both sides of that as well. And then going back to the front here, we're just going to take our glass panes. Place down one, two, three, four, five. 
and over here same thing one two three four and five glass panes now the back here is going to be a tiny bit different from the other um the other one we did it's going to be a stone full block here in the center then a stone stair to both sides and then a narrow stone block back like that down the center here and then a stone top slab like so so you can see here the pylon's a little bit smaller there just because the engine is kind of has a less uh wing mass to kind of clamp onto so this pylon here is a little bit um shorter that connects the engine up but that right there is going to conclude that uh layer right there and that right there will pretty much finish off uh, what we have there for layer number five for the build again take an overview from above there you can see we have a large portion of the wings extended out on the aircraft now so uh, we're definitely making progress in terms of uh, expanding the wings and um, we'll kind of uh, progress from here so with that that's it for layer five let's move on to layer number six moving on to our next layer we have layer number six for layer six to get started with here we're gonna place down polished black stone stair on top of this one like so and then a black concrete block directly behind it and that's it for our front center line our rear center line is going to go from the stone top side of the stone up down stair and that right there is just going to make our center line. From this, we're going to go ahead and build off to the sides here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the side of this stair. And then a polished black stone stair. Followed by one, two, three black concrete blocks. One, two, three stone blocks. And then a black stained glass pane coming off both sides of this first black, uh, or this last black block. And then a light gray stained glass block after that. We're going to go and then grab ourselves orange glazed terracotta placed on the side of the aircraft. This right here is basically intended to represent the Magicom logo, which is on the side of the aircraft. Um, this is pretty much standard for most uh, U.S. aircraft. They do have the Magicom on the side of the aircraft, which is basically a subdivision in the Air Force that um, the aircraft belongs to. Um, I think in particular this aircraft does belong to the Air Combat Command, if I remember correctly. It could be different, um, but uh, usually it's basically what base this is based out of. It kind of revolves around what uh, Magicom that base falls under, and each base has a different mission. So enough about that, but that right there is basically what that's representing. Then the inner side wall, and then we're going to go and then place down a stone full block back. And then on the right side, it's going to be a stone full block with a like gray stainless pane. On the left side, it's going to be a yellow um, concrete block with a yellow stainless pane. And then after that, uh, we want to go ahead and then go back from this stone block, an additional one and two. And then it's going to be yellow on the left side. We're going to go and then place down a there like gray stainless pane and then an anisite wall on the right side. And then over here will be a yellow stainless pane and then a sandstone wall. Coming off this uh, wall here on the right side, it's going to be a stone block. On the left side here will be a yellow concrete block. Coming off that block, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass paint at the side here as well. And then another stone wall, or anisite wall back, and then a stone block on the inside there, which will be the same for both sides. So, just take into account that little difference there. In addition, we have the skeleton skull that comes off the side here of this stone block. And we're going to go and then just place down an end rod coming off that skeleton skull facing forward. Once we have that done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks. We're going to go back one, two, three uh, stone blocks. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 in total on the right side. On the left side here, we're going to place down three stone blocks, a stone brick block, then one, two, three, four stone blocks, a stone brick block, and then another stone block like so. So again, there'll be a difference there on the left side. We're going to go then place down a stone block here in the center, and then one more back, and then we're going to place down an inside wall, and then a light gray stainless paint on the side there. On the inside here of the aircraft, we're going to place down one, two, three stone blocks, then a yellow concrete block, stone block, yellow concrete, then we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stone blocks back. Again, uh, we have the secondary door that's on the right side and the right side only. So this is going to have a yellow st concrete block, stone block, and yellow concrete. On this side, it's just going to be a continuous row of stone. After that, we're going to go ahead and then continue back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 stone blocks back. Followed by one and two light gray stained glass panes, then two stone blocks on the inside there of those glass panes, and then just a stone up down stair here on the back. And uh, that'll pretty much sum that up. And continuing to work our way out to the sides, we're gonna take our anisite walls, place down one, two, three, and then where our yellow concrete is, sandstone wall, anisite wall, um, sandstone wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one anisite walls back. Sandstone wall, andesite wall, sandstone wall on the right side. Over here will just be again continuous andesite. And then one, two, three, four andesite walls back with one, two, three light gray stainless panes after that, uh, rounding off the back there. Now, with that all complete, um, that right there is going to complete our fuselage here. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good for that. 
So at this point, we'll go ahead and now start to work on our wings and continue to expand them out to the side. All right, guys, so moving into our wings, we're going to go and start by going ahead and going into this section here where our polish band inside kind of breaks up or yeah, basically it broke up right here. We have the stone and then we have this begins again. We're going to go and basically use this as a reference point. We're going to go and build three uh, iron trap doors here. Then we're going to row of five of iron trap doors. Then we're going to do a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six going toward the front there. And this slab here, we're actually going to go and swap out with a stair. So just make sure that gets transferred over to the other side. But the stair just kind of helps shape that a little bit better. We're going to go then take our iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and then do a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six again. And uh, actually, this is going to be uh, one like that and then two stone slabs. So it's going to look like this here instead. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and um yeah, five stone slabs and the iron trap door there. We're going to go and then take our stone slabs here and we're going to place down again one, two, three, four, five, and six going forward. And then on the back here, we're going to grab a polished inside slab and place down one right here on top of that block. After uh, that is all done there, we want to go ahead and then place down a another set of stone slabs. So there's going to be, so our next row of stone slabs is going to be right here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five and six stone slabs back and then a polished inside slab. We're gonna go and switch out this stone slab up here out for an iron trap door. I think it just kind of helps with the flow of the wing a little bit better there. So that's uh, what we're gonna go and do there. Then after that, uh, we wanna go and then place down a, another stone slab here to the side. And then we're gonna go and place down one, two, three, four, five uh, stone slabs back and then one, two polished inside slabs like that going back. Next row here is gonna be a stone slab coming off the side of this one. Then it's gonna be one, two, three, four um, stone slabs back, and then again, two polished andesite slabs like that on the back here. Next row is going to be a uh, stone slab that will be on top of this iron trap door here. And then it's going to be a second one back from it. And then a third, and then we're going to place down two stone full blocks. So one, two, and then two polished andesite slabs going back from that. Next row here is going to be a stone slab coming off this one here. And then we're going to go back with a second stone slab. Then a stone full block, followed by a second, third, and fourth stone full block back, and then polished andesite slab here on the end. Uh, next thing we got here is uh, basically the center line here for our engine. So we're going to place down a stone slab here on top of the iron bar, one uh, slab going forward. We'll go ahead and grab our pistons again, place down one, two, three pistons, and then our stone full blocks here, which we'll be placing down one, two, three, four, five, six and seven stone full blocks and just a double check here make sure I get this right um, it is going to be two stone top slabs back so we're going to place down one and two stone top slabs back from that and then uh, up here in the front just to complete the engine we're going to place down iron trap doors on top of those blocks there one two three stone slabs back one two three and then we have our iron trap doors to the sides there like so and then taking our debug stick with there we can go in and adjust those pistons like that after uh, that is all complete uh, right there, I do want to go ahead and go look at the air side here and make sure that we start at the right point. And this is going to be coming off the third stone tops or stone full block. So one, two, three. We're going to place down a stone top slab. And this is going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six top slabs. Next row is going to be a uh, row of six as well. So it's going to come from this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then our next row is going to... Uh, and then again, going to be in there, row six, one, two, three, four, five, six, going back like that. We're going to place down an iron trap door here. Then one, two, three, stone top slabs forward, iron trap door. Then one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors. One, two, three, and four. And then one, two, come off the two center ones. And that right there is going to basically complete the um, tip of the wing. Air almost complete the tip of the wing and that right there will basically conclude what we have there for uh, layer number six as you can see we're starting to get the wings pretty much almost complete there they're starting to take shape and the engines are pretty much completed and at this point we just have basically one more layer where we're going to actually be touching the wings and after that we're kind of rid we rid ourselves of the wings thank god um but yeah that right there is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer six and with that we'll go ahead and jump on up to layer number seven moving on to our next layer we have layer number seven for layer seven to begin with we're going to go ahead and go to the front here we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of that black concrete block a polished black stone slab and two pistons if you're on java a good alternative to the pistons is a polished black stone slab and then a black concrete block 
Um, but yeah, in either one of these ways will work. We're going to go ahead and place down a narrow black concrete block after those pistons, and that's going to do it for the front center line. Moving to the back of the aircraft here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block that goes up from this uh, upside down stair here in an angle. Then a uh, upside down pist piston like so. Uh, this can be swapped out for a uh, upside down stone stair instead. Then a stone top slab like that to go and complete the back center line. With that, we're going to go, ahead and go back out to the front and start working our way out to the sides. We're going to place down two polished black stone slabs next to these two pistons or whatever blocks you placed here previously. And we can also go ahead and take a debug stick and right click those pistons and set them back down to like to that level there. We're going to go then place down a polished black stone stair and then two black concrete blocks back with two black stained glass panes coming out those black concrete blocks. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four stone blocks going back from those um, those glass panes there, and then coming off the second stone block, we're going to place down a glass pane like that of light gray, then two inside walls back, and then after that, uh, we want to go ahead and take our stone blocks, place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks, then um, we're going to go ahead and follow it up with six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, for right now. So again, we have a total of eleven stone blocks here on the side. On the other side here of the aircraft, uh, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks, then a stone brick block. Then one, two, three, four stone blocks, and then there's stone brick blocks. So should line up there with our door like so. And in addition, we're also going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this stone block there on both sides there before that and the side wall. After that's done though, we're going to continue on with one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks. And then we're going to place down one, two, three yellow concrete blocks, or actually sorry, one yellow concrete block and then a stone block there in the center. You may get the problem with this birch wood or the, where these um, iron trap doors do open, um, you can either go ahead and use a debug stick to go ahead and close them again, or change this daylight detector to night to day mode. So it um, kind of looks a little finicky there with uh, the block above it kind of casting a shadow and therefore making it seem like it's night mode, or it's night for it to change uh, or activate. Anyways, after that, we're gonna go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 blocks back. We have again our door right here which is going to be yellow concrete stone block yellow concrete and then again our stone blocks one two three four five so just like that and again the left side is going to be continuous there we do have this uh iron trap door that does open as well so same thing you can reset with the debug stick or change that daylight detector to the day mode after that uh we want to go and then place down a row of inside walls one two and then one two three like gray stainless paints on the inside here we're going to place down one two three four five six seven stone full blocks then two andesite walls, then two light gray stained glass panes. Then on the inside here, we're going to place down three stone blocks, a stone upside down stair, and then a stone top slab come out the side there of that piston. With uh, that all complete there, I think that's pretty much it for the fuselage. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good for right now for the fuselage. We'll talk about the riding there on the side of the aircraft a little bit later. Uh, but anyways, uh, what we have next is basically the outer section of the wing here, like so. Alright guys, so moving to the outer uh, wing tips here. Fortunately for us, it's going to be pretty um, pretty easy to do. Um, and will be really nice uh, to kind of finish these wings off completely. But basically to get started with here, we're going to go to this uh, row of six of stone top slabs. We're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors like so. And then a pressure plate on the end here of stone. We're going to go then go to the middle three. We're going to place down one, two, three iron trap doors to the side. And then one, two, like that, coming off the, the uh, two right there. After this, we're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors from the front, then two stone top slabs, and then a stone pressure plate on top of that iron trap door there. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five um, stone slabs back, and then an end rod on the end of this row. We're going to place down another row of one, two, three, four, five iron uh, stone slabs, and then a end rod on the end here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab here, and then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three and four and side walls like so just so we don't and then on the end here we're gonna place down an end rod like so and just so we don't have to worry about this later on uh, and come back to it we're just gonna place down one two three stone slabs on top of those walls and we're going to go forward from that stone slab one two three and four end rods like so then after that uh, we're gonna take our stone slabs we're gonna place down one two three four on the side here and rod on the end here and we then want to place down three one two three and rod on the end and then we're going to place down two birchwood fence gates going forward from this. So like that. And we want to go then place down one, two, and three end rods like so. And let me just double check on this model over here. And 
Actually, it's going to be one more end rod forward. So we're actually going to have one more. So it should be a total of four end rods going forward like that. So you have your two birch with fence gates, then four end rods, and up on top there, four end rods as well. And that'll just be applied to both sides there. And once you have that all done, that'll pretty much wrap up this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything uh, for the most part. And we're pretty much good to go. One thing I do want to talk about is the writing on the side of the aircraft, uh, which does say U.S. Air Force. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to make all these banners in the tutorial because that'll take absolutely forever. There are plenty of tutorials out there that do cover um, how to make these layered banners. And basically, all you're going to be doing is make, using a light gray background for the banner, or light gray banner, and putting black um, letters on it. So for this, you will need a U, a dot, an S, and then you're going to go ahead and need an A, an I, an R, followed by an F, O, um, C, and we'll come back and grab that E a little bit later. But on the left side of the aircraft, you can see it starts right after this door. It's going to be U dot S dot space A I R space F O R C E for U.S. Air Force. Then on the uh, other side of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and start off by going to this door here. It's going to be, we're going to spell it backwards. So it's going to be E, C, R, O, F. So you have force. And then it's going to be R, I, A, space, the dot, S. And we'll go ahead and then grab R, U. It's going to be another dot and an S like that. So it should look like that and it should read left to right. So U.S. Air Force on both sides. Over here, U.S. Air Force. And once you have that put on the side of the aircraft, that is pretty much um, it for that. And that will conclude what we have here for layer number seven for the build. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on up to layer number eight. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a black stainless block um, on top of this space right here. We're going to then place down a second, third, and fourth block back, so you have a total of four. Then if you don't plan on doing an interior for this build, which... Um, for me, I won't be doing an interior for this uh, total. There really isn't much information on the interiors because a lot of it's top secret equipment and all that stuff. So we're just going to close this off. Basically, a black concrete block after that row of uh, four black stained glass. And we can also fill in the bottom here as well with black concrete all the way back to this point. And you can do this for both sides here just to kind of close that, cock that cockpit off and you can't actually see into it. So just a little trick there to go ahead and make that work like so. But anyways, that's going to do it for your center line there in the front. Then go into the back of the aircraft, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block that goes up from the slab, uh, an upside down piston, and a stone top slab. Again, instead of the piston, you can do an upside down stone stair. Also, in addition to this piston here, we can go ahead and right click as well, and kind of reset it to this um, design like so. And I think you can do the same thing up here for this piston as well, so just go ahead and uh, right click that as well. But keep your debug stick handy as it may change. Going ahead and continuing on, uh, we're going to go to the front here, we're going to go out to the sides, place down a black stained glass pane, then one, two, three, black stained glass blocks then a black concrete block, and then after that we're going to place down a quartz block right here. We then want to place down a row of one and two black stained glass panes here to the side, followed by a smooth quartz stair, and then a smooth quartz full block behind the stair. We then want to place down a stone stair like so, and then a stone full block after the back on, on the back of the stair like that. Coming off that stone block, we're going to place down a stone slab, and then we're going to go ahead and go one, or sorry, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four stone stairs back, uh, fall by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Over here on the left side, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 stone stairs. Stone brick stair, 1, 2, 3, 4 stone stairs, and then a narrow stone brick stair like that. We're going to go ahead and take our stone stairs, continue on back from this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to go then place down our birchwood trapdoor, stone stair, birchwood trapdoor. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Stone stairs back. Again, our birchwood trap door stairs here. Stone stair in the center. And continue on for stairs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a anisette wall to mark the stair. So two walls back. And then three glass panes back. On the inside here, we're going to take our stone blocks. Place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Stone blocks back. Two anisette walls, two light gray stainless panes. On the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks, uh, fall by five and six going back. We're going to go then place down a stone upside down stair and a stone top set on the side of that piston and go ahead and just give it a right click here again um, with that debug stick. And that right there will basically wrap that up like so. Um, we do have a few things to mention. Our wings are done, so that's good. Uh, we do have some banners to make, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the necessary materials we'll need here to make these banners. And um, we'll go ahead and move into uh, 
making those banners for the aircraft. All right, guys, so moving into making our looms here, pretty simple, or making our banners, I should say. Uh, to make them, we're going to need our loom, one black banner, two white banners, uh, four light gray dye, one red dye, two uh, white dye, and four blue dye. We're going to start off by going into our loom, we're going to place down a uh, black banner and our light gray dye. We're going to go ahead and select the border that goes around the uh, banner like so. And we then want to go ahead and select the bottom half to be light gray. So it's going to create like this kind of window looking design like so. And that's your first banner like so. Our next banner is going to be our one white banner into the loom. We're going to go ahead and place down our light gray die. We're going to do the line across the top and the line across the bottom horizontally. Lastly, we're just going to take a red die piece, place it into our loom. And we're going to do the red stripe there for the center of the aircraft or for the center of the banner. And that right there will create our second banner. Our last one here is a little bit more complicated. Uh, one thing also I forgot to grab was we do need a banner pattern. That's gonna be the flower charge. For this, we're gonna place down our white banner into our loom and our blue dye. We're gonna select the line that goes across the center there with our blue, and we're gonna go grab that banner. We then wanna go ahead and take our banner flower charge and our white dye, and we're gonna go ahead and create something that looks like this here. So a flower charge like that. We're gonna go ahead and grab this banner, put it back into our loom. We're gonna remove the white dye and our flower charge. We're going to go ahead and place our blue die back in, do a line across the top like so, a blue die. And we're going to go ahead and then swap out our blue die for white die. We're going to go ahead and then do the diamond in the center. Then we're going to place down our blue die back in. We're going to go ahead and uh, select the triangle from the bottom like so for blue and then the line across the bottom again with our blue and it should create this blue banner with a white star. These banners are pretty simple to place. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to the left side of the aircraft. We're going to go to the second stair after our stone brick one, and we're going to place down three of these black banners. Um, these banners will not be on the right side. They will be strictly on the left side only. However, for both sides, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a, another one of these banners on this stone stair here for this uh, escape door. And same thing will be done for this back door here on the right side as well. For our national star insignia, we're going to go ahead and go to our third from last stair. We're going to go ahead and place down our striped banner, our uh, star banner, and then our striped banner right after that to make that national star insignia on both sides there of the fuselage. With that all done, that's going to do it for our banners. And with that, that will pretty much complete what we have there for layer 8. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to layer number 9. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 9. For layer 9, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a quartz slab on top of that second like black stained glass block, and then two smooth quartz blocks back from them. That right there is going to do it for our front center line, and then moving to the back, we're going to go up from the stone top slab, place down a stone full block, an upside down piston. Again, this can be replaced with a stone upside down stair instead, a stone top slab, and then an iron trap door after that. Once that's done, going back up to the front, we're going to start working our way out to the sides. So we're going to place down a daylight detector next to the slab, a smooth quartz slab back, a smooth quartz stair, then two smooth quartz blocks back from that stair. Again, going out to the sides, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off this stone slab, or that quartz slab there. Daylight detector back from it, turn to day mode, and you will have this um, iron trap door open. You can either swap this uh, daylight detector out for a night one, or uh, use your debug stick here to go ahead and reset the iron trap door like that. We're going to go then place down a stone slab, and then a stone stair. After that's uh, right there, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz uh, blocks, and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five quartz blocks. Over here on the left side, it's going to be two polished diorite blocks two um, diorite walls, and then two polished diorite blocks again. Stone buttons on the side of those blocks, and on the bottom here of the walls, we're going to place down our polished diorite blocks, and also on the side here of the walls as well. So that'll be on the left side. On the right side, it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six smooth quartz like that. We're going to continue on with one, two, three, four, five, six smooth quartz blocks back, our yellow concrete. And then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have quartz blocks back, yellow concrete. Again, the other side is just going to be straight quartz. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and continue our smooth quartz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Blocks back, two direct walls, two smooth quartz blocks, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stone blocks. We're also going to go ahead and grab our... Uh, like gray stained glass panes and place down two from off those direct walls. On these last three stone blocks, we're going to place down three iron trap doors to the side. Then after that, we want to go and place down a stone upside down stair, followed by a stone top slab on the side of the piston, and then two iron trap doors like that going back. Again, we can grab our debug stick here and reset that piston 
or set that piston to that uh, configuration like so. And with that all done, I'm pretty sure that's it for this layer. Just trying to double check, make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does, again, appear to be good to go. So we're going to call layer uh, 9 there complete. And with that, we'll go ahead and jump up to layer number 10. Moving into our next layer, we have layer 10. For layer 10, I go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a quartz, uh, or sorry, a uh, iron trap door on top of that second quartz block there. Then two quartz slabs back. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of smooth quartz. That's going to be a total of 11, followed by a black concrete block, smooth quartz block, black concrete. And then we're going to take our quartz again and do a long row going all the way back here to the tail, which is going to be 57 blocks in length. And we'll stake one past this iron trap door there on the rear. After that is all done, uh, that right there is going to complete our center line, and we're going to start working our way out to the sides. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down an iron trap door to the side here. Then one, oops, my bad, it's going to be one, two, three quartz slabs, and then taking our quartz stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve quartz stairs like that. We're going to go to our eleventh stair, we're going to place down a quartz stair like that to both sides. We're going to continue on with, uh, after our, our twelfth stair. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we're going to go ahead and place down white carpet on top of our snow blocks. Continuing on after that, we're going to go ahead and continue on. 19, 20, 21. Quartz full blocks. And then a lever to both sides to come out this uh, quartz slab. Or this uh, quartz uh, stair there. So in total, we have 21 quartz stairs so far. Continue on, uh, we have 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35, the 35th stair, a birchwood fence post, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. On the 39th one, we're going to place down a quartz stair, like so. And then after that uh, stair there, we have 41, 42, 43, and then our 44th one is going to be a corner stair, just like that. And let me just double check our count here of stairs. And it is correct. We have 43 normal stairs. And then you have our corner stair here on the very end. Like so. We're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 quartz full blocks. Then a skeleton skull on the two end ones. So this one here. This here. And then we're going to place down six white stained glass panes in between those skeleton skulls. After that, we want to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Court stairs back. Let me go ahead and double check my count here. Yep, 15. And then on your third stair back, we're going to place down another court stair like that to the side. After that, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our polished anisite slabs. We're going to go ahead and go, or actually, rather, after this court stair, we're going to place down a court slab. And then come off the court slab, we're going to place down two polished anisite slabs like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six stone slabs going forward. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four stone slabs. Then a stone stair like this. After that stone stair, two polished anisite slabs. Uh, we're going to go then place down a set of two stone slabs, three stone full blocks, and then one and two polished anisite slabs back. Our next row is going to be a stone slab here, coming off this one, then a stone full block, all by a second, third, fourth, and then we're going to go then place down two polished anisite top slabs going back like so then our next row here is going to be a stone top slab so we'll be coming off this block here two stone upside down stairs a stone top slab and two polished anisite top slabs or actually rather two stone top slabs and then a polished anisite top slab on the end there our uh, next row is going to be a stone top slab here followed by second third fourth and fifth back so you have total five polished anisite top slab and then it's going to be one two three four stone top slabs and a polished anisite top slab on the end there and that right there will basically complete what we have there for your start of your horizontal stabilizers and with that that's going to complete uh everything we have here so far for layer number 10 and uh with that we'll be going ahead and diving into our next layer which will be layer number 11. moving into our next layer we have layer number 11. For layer 11 to go ahead and get started with, you want to place down a uh, virtual button on top of this second quartz block, followed by a second virtual button. We're going to skip a space of one, then on our second block back, place down a virtual button, a quartz stair like so, then two virtual buttons, then a virtual fence post on top of this fence post. We're going to place down a skeleton school as well. We're going to go then skip a space, place down an iron uh, trap door. We're going to go ahead and go back, to, or we're going to go to the sides here to these quartz stairs. We're going to place down a skeleton skull that comes up from them like so, at an angle. And after this block concrete block, we're going to place down a quartz stair as well. 
We're going to go and skip a space, place down two snow pieces on top of each other like so, then an iron trapdoor after those. We're going to skip a narrow space, place down a diary wall. Then on top of this diary wall, we're going to go and place down a iron trapdoor like so. We're going to then skip one, two, three, four, five spaces, narrow diary wall, uh, iron trapdoor, then skip one, two, three, four, five spaces again, narrow diary wall, iron trapdoor. Then one, two, three, four, five spaces again, diary wall, iron trap door. This time though, the sides we're gonna place down skeleton skulls. We then want to count back one, two, and our third space back, we're gonna place down a end rod. And then to the sides here, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull that comes up from those stairs like so. Going back to the end rod, we're gonna go and skip two more spaces, a narrow diary wall, and a narrow iron trap door on top of it. We then want to go ahead and uh, build this section up by going ahead and taking our snow. We're gonna go and build up one, two, three, four snow pieces. Then this right here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 that go up. And then at this point, you're going to have 7. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be 6. So this one right here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and 6. And this right here should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah. So you're going to have uh, basically, you're going to have 3 rows of the 7. Then you're going to go ahead and drop down to the 6 again. Then you're going to have the quartz slab, and then you're going to have one, two, and three. Like that on the end there to go ahead and kind of create this sloped uh, ray dome here. And then two iron trap doors after that. To the sides here, we're going to go and take our snow. We're going to place down uh, two snow pieces like so. Then one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Like so. And then same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, then one, two. To go ahead and create that. And then this court stair here is actually gonna be a corner stair. So we're gonna do the same thing there on both sides. Like that. So we're gonna swap those out. Then uh, after that, we're gonna go and then go to these court stairs to the sides. We're gonna place down a skeleton school that kind of goes up like so. After the iron trap doors, we're gonna place down a court slab, followed by a court stair, and then we're gonna place down a row of quartz full blocks. That's gonna go back a total of twelve, and then an iron trap door there on the end. We're gonna go then take iron trap doors. We're gonna place down two iron trap doors here. So one, two. We then wanna place down a row of four. One, two, three, four. And then taking our stone slabs, we're gonna place down two stone slabs here. Then an iron trap door to both sides of those stone slabs. Then a row of four of iron of those uh, stone blocks. And we then wanna go ahead and place down a polished andesite slab here on the end. Then one, two, three, and four stone blocks, and then another polished andesite slab there. And after we have that all done, we're gonna go then place down one, two, three stone slabs, polished andesite slab on the end, and then again, one, two, three, or sorry, one, two stone slabs, and then a polished andesite top slab, and then we're just gonna place down one, two, three end rods along the side or along the tail there. And with that all complete, uh, that right there is going to wrap up everything we have there for this layer on both sides. Actually, one thing also on the back here is going to be the addition of two birchwood buttons on these two stone blocks, like so. Anyways, though, once that's all complete, that's going to basically wrap up everything we have there for layer 11. And with that, we'll probably be going ahead and moving into our final layers, which will be um, basically building up the whole tail section and that cabling that goes back to the tail. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our final layers, we have layers 12 through 24. For these layers, we're going to be going ahead and pretty much solely focusing on the tail. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up from this um, second quartz full block here. We're going to place down a quartz stair up from it and then we're gonna go back from it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten quartz full blocks of a um virtual button on both sides of that first one there we then want to go ahead and go up with a quartz full block and this is going to go back um uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks like that and we're gonna go ahead and place down our birchwood button on both ends and then a white stained glass pane there on the end Next row going up is going to be another quartz block that's going to be on the second one here. So quartz block. And then this is going to go back one and two more. We're going to go then place down an iron trap door to both sides and then a white carpet. Going back from the quartz block, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks. A white stained glass pane and then a uh, birch button on both sides of the second to last block. Going ahead and continuing uh, up, we're going to place down a white stained glass pane here. 
Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quartz blocks. A birchwood button on the second to last block here on both sides. Then again, building up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quartz blocks. Again, birchwood button on both sides there. Next row is going to be a quartz block here. After that, we're going to place down a second quartz block. Then we're going to place down one, two, three TNT blocks. Then one, two, and three quartz blocks and virtual button on both sides of that middle block there. Go ahead and go it up again. A white stained glass pane, quartz block, blue concrete. Then we're going to place down two TNT blocks. Then one, two, three quartz uh, full blocks. Virtual button on both sides of this middle block. Continuing up, quartz block. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks back. Any other virtual button on both sides of this block here. And then also on these uh, last block, these two blocks here, we place down our glass, white stained glass panes going back, and also end rods coming off those glass panes. After that, we're gonna go then place down a uh, white stained glass pane that goes up as well, and then we're gonna go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blue concrete blocks back. So actually, my mistake here. This is actually supposed to be um, we're gonna get rid of this glass pane, and it's actually gonna be a row of quartz full blocks. So it's going to go all the way back to this point here, and we're going to go ahead and actually bring our white stained glass pane up, delete this bottom one right here, and then bring that up like by one like that. And then we're going to place down our virtual button here, and then one over like that, and that right there is how we should have it there on the back. After that is all complete there though, we are going to go ahead and then place down our white stained glass pane up here. One, two, three, four, five, and six blue concrete. This blue concrete here is representing the tail flash. What the tail flash is, is usually base specific, and it's just kind of a part way to tell um, squadrons apart from each other, or sometimes just bases in general. Um, and they all have their own type of tail flash. Off its uh, one is a little bit different. It's kind of a bluish color. So uh, we just have this blue stripe right in the side, in the um, wing, or in the top of the vertical stabilizer. Obviously, you can change that if you want to, but this is just kind of again based off that real life, um, the real life aircraft. We're gonna go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six quartz blocks and then. Uh, end rod there. Then going up, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six quartz blocks again. We're going to go and then place down a quartz upside down stair. This is going to have a birchwood sign on both sides of the stair and also the quartz block right behind it. Like that. Then we want to go ahead and grab our end rod. We're going to place down an end rod on the back here and we will also need a birchwood fence gate. We're going to go ahead and go forward from the stair, one and two birchwood fence gates and then two end rods last thing we need to do here is to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater and we're going to very simply place down a redstone repeater on top of this block here and separate the notches apart from each other like so and that right there will pretty much uh, make up the tail uh, one thing also we're going to place down a snow two snow slabs here then uh, one and then two like that on the top there and um yeah, that right there is going to pretty much make up, make up the tail of the aircraft. And the last things we kind of have here is just some of the designations on the tail. So these are pretty simple uh, for the most part. Again, something I'm not going to cover how to make specifically. There are plenty of tutorials out there that do cover it, but I will show you guys at least how to um, position them and make them. So the first uh, we have here is OF. Now, this isn't only fans. This is basically Offit Air Force Base. And this aircraft is only based out of Offit, so... We're going to have off it only um, as it so we have basically an O and an F that's going to go right there in that section of the wing and that's the two did or the two lettered base code. After that we want to go and then go down to this section here and we're going to place down two polish buttons. Now these right here are basically smaller numbers um, usually they kind of make up the year of the aircraft or uh, something like that and then we have the tail number. So we have a three digit number eight four five again based off an actual one of the uh, RC-135s. Then over here on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We have OF, make sure it reads left to right. And this time, we're gonna go ahead and then place down our two polished black stone buttons on this side, eight, four, five. So again, it reads left to right. So you have OF, then you have eight, four, five. Over here, eight, four, five, OF. So that's basically how you wanna put the, put the um, kind of code there or the tail um, markings and stuff like that. On the aircraft, I'll let you guys kind of go crazy with that. Again, you can do different numbers, doesn't really matter, or a different base code. But again, this right here is going to be an actual aircraft based out of Offit Air Force Base. So, you know, kind of take that as, as you will. 
Um, but yeah, that right there is pretty much it for that. And the last thing we have to do here really is going to be that cabling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that set up and we'll go ahead and do our cabling. All right, guys. So when it comes to doing the cabling here for the aircraft, it's pretty straightforward and simple to do. We're going to be going ahead and going to this skeleton school up here that we set up. And we're going to go ahead and basically be using barrier blocks and building basically rows going back. Um, I've heard that uh, barrier blocks are not available on different versions. Um, I know that there are structure blocks or other things that do are invisible blocks that you can use. So just go ahead and use whatever is applicable to you in your version. Well, that was weird. My internet just cut out there for a second. Uh, so I had to wait for it to come back on and uh, get back on the server to continue on recording here. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, you'll grab the structure blocks, barrier blocks, whatever works for you guys. And we'll go ahead and get started. Now we're going to go off the skeleton skull for our first row and place down five. We're going to go and then go up, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, we're going to go ahead and go up this time with a row of eight. Up again, a row of nine. Then another row of nine. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And it'll connect up to that glass pane like so. Um, and we'll go ahead and replace that pane so it doesn't actually connect up there. Now to go ahead and kind of build off of this, uh, we're going to take our stone buttons and we're going to place down uh, basically one, two, three, four, five on top of those blocks like so. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four on the side, then one, two, three, four, five on top, one, two, three, four on the side, one, two, three, four, five on top, one, two, three, four on the side, one, two, three, four on top. One, two, three, four on the side. One, two, three, four, and five on top. And again, one, two, three, four uh, buttons here. And then one, two, three, four, five on top. One, two, three, four, five like that to connect you up like so. And that right there is pretty much it for the cabling. Uh, pretty simple stuff. And that's all you need to do for it. Uh, you can only you only need to place the buttons on one side of the block. You don't have to put them on both sides. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the cabling. And that right there is going to do it for the in-flight version of the RC-135. At this point in time, we are going to be moving into the landing gear modification. So those of you that do want to have this aircraft landed, you will have that capability to do so. I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on over to the landing gear. So when it comes to our landing gear, we're going to start off with the front wheels. For this, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate right after this uh, lever here. We're going to open it toward the back. We're going to go then drop a diorite wall directly after it. So this wall like so. And then we're going to place down a quartz top side on the bottom of the wall like that. To both sides of that quartz top side, we're going to place down a block of coal. And we have this white banner design, which is basically a white banner, a black border around it, and a black horizontal line for the center. I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it into a loom, or in a loom, because it's pretty simple. And that'll just go on the sides there of your wheels like so. We're going to go then place down an iron trap door back from this quartz top slab, a lever facing toward it. And we then want to delete this stone block here, this one above this uh, diet wall, and this stone block as well. We're going to go ahead and go in the inside here. We're going to place down another diamond wall that goes up like so. A quartz full block above it. Then one and two more quartz blocks like that filling that space in. And then at this point, we just want to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate in this spot here. Open it like that toward the back. And then we're on the bottom of that, we're going to place down a stone up sound stair. Which uh, will be placed like so. If I can actually get it. There we go. So you have the stone up sound stair on the bottom there like that. And that right there is going to do it for your front landing gear. With that, let's move on to the rear ones. All right, guys, so moving into our rear landing gear. This landing gear is a little bit more complicated, so just uh, pay close attention as we will be uh, kind of underneath here doing some uh, some work, uh, basically, to say the very least. So what we're going to do is we're going down to this section down here, and the best part to start is to kind of go to this row of three of polished andesite. We're going to then go kind of diagonal forward, and we're going to go to this iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and delete this iron trap door, and we're going to delete the stone block above it. And in this place, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing some quartz blocks, or quartz slabs preferably, and we're going to place down a quartz uh, full block in the space. And make sure we're actually using smooth quartz as it just overall will look better. So we have our smooth quartz block. We're going to go and then delete this stone top slab. And we're going to replace this, quartz, this stone block with the quartz top slab. And we're going to delete this stone top slab and this quartz block. And again, make that a quartz um, top slab like so. At this point in time, uh, once you get to this section here, we're going to go and then break this stone block. This stone block as well, this iron trap door. We're going to go and then break two more stone blocks going this way, and the two behind here. Two blocks going this way, and like that. And actually, my bad, sorry, it's only going to be one going this direction like that. So it should look like this here, um, like that with your cutout. Now, uh, basically, this is kind of more what it's going to look like here. Uh, but basically, at this point in time, uh, what you're going to do is 
you're going to go ahead and replace your center row that you have here. We're going to delete the iron trap doors on the bottom. So we're going to delete these four iron trap doors that are there. And we're going to place down our four smooth quartz blocks that go above this. We're also going to place down another row of four above that. We're going to place down quartz blocks here on the sides, like so. And also uh, four quartz blocks across the top here. That will kind of help start to form our wheel uh, well, as you can see here. And also this space right here is going to be filled in with some quartz full blocks. Now at this point in time, uh, we're going to go then take our stone blocks. We're going to go and drop with stone full blocks down from those quartz blocks like that. And we want to go then come off to the sides here of those with a row of four stone top slabs. We're going to place down levers like so and have these flick, or basically levers on here like that to go ahead and kind of make our doors that would swing open to help expose the landing gear on the bottom of the aircraft. Now once you get to this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and then go down from this block here with a direct wall. After that direct wall, uh, we're going to place down a quartz full block. So quartz full block and then we're going to place down a smooth quartz up down stair toward the direction of the front of the aircraft and then a quartz slab going toward the back direction. We're going to go then place down three quartz top slabs on the bottom of those blocks so like this and then come off this um, quartz full block we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. Now we then want to go ahead and grab our polished black stone wall or stairs. We're going to place down an up down stair here then a stair on top of those. Two stairs on the back there to go ahead and make our first wheel. And then another upside down stair here, stair on top, two stairs on the back there to go ahead and make these wheels as well. And we just want to place down an end rod then in between them like that. After that is all done right there, um, basically one thing we can go ahead and continue on doing is to detail up the inner wheel bay. Now I didn't do a full whole ton of detail in here because uh, obviously it's uh, kind of a wheel bay. Most people aren't going to actually pay attention to this or see it. Basically what I did here is I placed on a quartz stair like this to both sides, an end rod that kind of comes down from those like that. And actually we're going to swap these levers out and place them right there. And then in between these stairs I also went ahead and put some direct walls and we can also place down some iron trap doors in the space right here to kind of help keep that white color there on the, on the inside. So just a little bit of detail there, it's not anything crazy um, or like super accurate with all the different usually tubes and stuff running around inside here. But uh, I think it works and just kind of helps uh, bring a little bit of character to that inside area there. In addition to this, we do have another um, door we need to build on the back here. That's pretty simple to do. Uh, this here is going to start off by going ahead and replacing um, this iron trap door right here with a stone full block and then a stone up down stair like so. We're going to place down a near stone full block instead of the iron trap door there and then a stone slab after that. Uh, we then want to place down a lever that will be coming off this stone block here and it'll be aimed back toward that stone slab and that right there for the most part is pretty much your landing gear um uh basically at this point in time what we're going to do next is we're going to go and take a quartz slab we're going to place down a quartz slab coming off this um this uh slab here and then we're going to go ahead and place down another slab like this and we'll just kind of put a full block in right here so kind of the mechanism here that helps pull the landing gear back in then lastly, uh, we have these banners here. Now, again, I'm not going to show you guys how to make these banners in this tutorial as they're pretty simple and straightforward in a loom. But basically what it is, this is a black banner. You're going to do a white stripe vertically on the left and the left-hand side and the right side. And then you just want to do a horizontal black line across the tops like that. Pretty simple. And you get these two banners here. These are going to just be placed down on the side here of these polished black stone stairs with the uh, white facing toward each other. And that right there will pretty much make the wheels and kind of detail them up a little bit, make them nice and uh, nice and pretty there for the landing gear and all that. Anyways though, that right there is going to conclude the landing gear for the RC-135 and with that, that will complete both my landed and in-flight versions for this aircraft. If you guys do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This may anything from a sound of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does bring you social media sites. As long as I get proper credit for the build, that's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So, as long as you guys give me credit for your free user for projects you guys are working on. Again, the base special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. And as always, check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this week or two before, and I'll see you guys next time.